really coming in from the broadcast industry and into the pro AV industry, you know, how are people going to react, right? And and the answer to that, um, you know, it's been interesting. Uh, we do actually get quite, quite a bit of pushback. If you look at 702110 as it is, um, it's a very challenging uh, system to, to build, and it's that way because broadcast is, you know, all the marbles. If you're if you're doing the Super Bowl, you, you can't afford a black screen, and latency's got to be very low, and all that. Um, and that's not a great fit for Pro AV. But but if you take a step back and look at SMPT twenty one ten a little more carefully, you'll see that it's full of very old, very tried and true, very simple simple internet standards. And what SMPT 2110 has done is, is it's specified it for the needs of broadcast. As it turns out, the composability and, and the, the process of standards has really created something that's actually quite simple at its base. So you're right, SDI has been around forever in broadcast. Um, it's a point-to-point -point connection that lots of people use. Um, and it has been replaced in broadcast pretty much uh, across the board by a new standard called SMPT ST2110 which is for audio and video over IP networks. Um, and IPMX is really using that as a foundation to target uh, pro EV applications. So it takes what's been learned in the broadcast space, the professional media space, and, and applies that to the pro EV um, audience. And it includes new things like HDCP support um, uh, and specifics that the pro EV audience can use. Um, so it's, it is an open standard. It isn't like the other implementations that you'll see in the market, which are very much either dependent on a specific device or a specific manufacturer. Um, we've talked to lots of customers and they all feel a little bit held to ransom sometimes to these single vendor approaches. Uh, IPMX is a truly open uh, and interoperable standard that anybody can deploy on any system and, and build it themselves. We've actually built on that, added features, but also added constraints, added compression, added the things that Pro-AV really needed, um, and built something that's that's actually quite literally for Pro-AV. And as we've kind of experienced the last year here with COVID and, and being forced to work at home and finding new ways to work in a more distributed fashion, what's really kind of jumped out at us is that um, in Pro-AV, we're not just talking over PowerPoints, you know, we're, we're also making production, we're making video, we're making content. The move to IP networks changes it to packets of data. So the good thing with IPMX is that it's not limited to any particular bandwidth of Ethernet. Ethernet is going from, you know, one gig to 10 gig to 25. We, we're doing communication systems at 400 gig already today, and, and that's always going to go on. So the bandwidth is growing from Ethernet. Um, which means we can put more resolution, higher frame rates, multiple channels, all down the same AV pipe um, with IPMX potentially. We can add compression schemes to reduce the amount of bandwidth necessary for certain channels. So that scalability gives you an element of flexibility today, but also future proofs things because you can support 8K. You might support 16K in the future. There's no limitation to these these uh, standards that IPMX is offering. The way of most of the AV over IP world right now is 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 based on a chip, right? And um, that really, we don't see that working in the future. We, we see a much more distributed and flexible uh, uh, video workflows. And uh, and, and that's, that's really the focus of IPMX. So Xilinx is the inventor of the FPGA, the Field Programmable Gate Array. Um, and over the last 30 odd years, we've uh, kind of progressed into fully programmable devices. So that's at the hardware and the software level. Um, and they're used in all kinds of systems in all markets, but they're, they're really flexible devices you can reprogram um, to really fit your needs or to adapt to new things as they come along. So we think that IPMX being able to actually interact pretty well with that broadcast and production workflow, as well as the presentation workflow is going to be a huge strength.